so many hours a week can be invested in your business by you, whether it's 30 because you're a single parent or 40 or 50 or, you know, God forbid you are 60 hours a week. There's a cap there somewhere. And if yeah. you add an assistant or I know um, admins, right. Or a, a virtual assistant has become a very popular thing in the industry, or maybe they take on 20 hours a week of things you normally do. Well, now you, instead of being a 40 hour a week agent, now you're a 60 hour a week, right? Cause you're able to invest that time somewhere else. You said something that also reminds me of this is like, you know, so often we're so, especially when it comes to pe like, I think as a whole, most people are a little bit more, at least our generation is a little bit more comfortable with technology than they are people. But yeah. as soon as you mentioned bringing in a person, oh, nobody works like I do. Nobody cares about business like I do. I've, I've heard all the excuses. Yeah. But here's the thing you got to realize, like at some point, let's say, let's say you are a single, a single agent you have a capacity to do, to do a great job up to a certain point. And then at some point you're going to start dropping balls. Yep. You're not, you're going to miss phone calls. You're going to miss emails. You're going to, you're going to forget an appointment. You're going to forget to schedule an inspection or, or something's going to happen where the quality of your work and your service will deteriorate. It will. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's just where. Yeah. 